and new details on the Orlando terror attack. Previously unseen records revealing that a hostage reported gunfire after 2.30 a.m., an account that contradicts what police had previously said, that the shooting had stopped by 2.18. Trace Gallagher has a story for us. Trace? Kimberly, Orlando is in Orange County, so both the police and sheriff's department were on scene. These communications are a, a TikTok or minute-by-minute -minute account of what the sheriff's dispatchers heard and reported, and they do appear to contradict police statements. They show at 2.05 a.m., deputies were told about the shooting and that multiple people were down. At 2.17, deputies requested shields, but because they believed Omar Mateen was using an AK-47, they said the shields would not be effective. So at 2.18... Deputies were told to cover in place, which means protect yourself against gunfire. That is also the time Orlando police say the shooting stopped. Watch. After that second exchange of gunfire, uh, upon that initial entry of our officers, uh, there was no other gunfire until the hostage rescue operation took place. So during that three hours, I just want to make sure everyone's clear on that, uh, there was no gunfire. No gunfire, but at 2.30, 12 minutes after police say gunfire stopped, the sheriff's dispatcher reports, quoting, caller heard another gunshot from the front. Then at 2.34, the dispatcher says, quote again, caller can hear a male screaming and another gunshot. Now remember, victims are also calling in to dispatchers pleading for help. At 2.25, a dispatcher reports, quote, complainant pleading for police to come save her, advises that she does not want to die advises there are people bleeding out inside the bathroom with her. 12 minutes later, quoting again, complainant just keeps pleading, please come to the bathroom. And nine minutes after that, the dispatcher reports, quote, my complainant advises her son is in the bathroom with shooter. Son has not responded to her message since 2.42, which would be four minutes earlier. Remember, police did not get inside the bathroom for another two and a half hours when SWAT teams finally stormed the place. The Orlando Police Department has been criticized for that lag time of almost three hours, Kimberly. We contacted the police department in Orlando. So far, they have not gotten back to us. All right, you think about the lives that could have been saved, Trace. Thank you so much.